These methods can help answer key questions in the utilization of biomass and wastewater remediation field, such as preparation of modified biomass-based carbon for removal of heavy metals in wastewater. The main advantage of this technique is that the microwave pyrolysis benefits the subsequent modification process to simultaneously introduce more nitrogen and oxygen functional groups on the carbon. To begin, rinse the bagasse with deionized water and put the samples in a drying oven at 100 degrees Celsius for 10 hours. Crush the dried bagasse with a grinder. Then, sieve the powder through a 50 mesh sieve. Now, Place 30 grams of fine bagasse powder into a 15 weight percent phosphoric acid solution in a 1 to 1 weight ratio for 24 hours. Dry the mixture in an oven at 105 degrees Celsius for 6 hours. Collect the resulting product as the precursor for bagasse based activated carbon, or BAC. Now, Put 15 grams of the precursor in a microwave oven with a 2.45 GHz frequency. Set the power of the microwave oven at 900 watts to pyrolyze the sample for 22 minutes. Ensure a nitrogen flow rate of 20 milliliters per minute with a rotor flow meter. The air inlet of the rotor flow meter is connected to a nitrogen cylinder using a hose while the outlet is connected to the air inlet of the microwave oven.